Today, I'm gonna to show you how to catch them on a hair jig in the summertime. Geeks, let me tell you why you absolutely have to be throwing some sort of bucktail or hair jig during the summertime. All right, geeks, so I'm telling you right now, I'm gonna run through some of my favorite bucktails. You've seen, man, we've been catching them today on the bucktails. This is one of my favorites. This is Big Daddy Bates bucktail jig and it comes in two or three different sizes we're going to talk about that we're going to talk about a different style of hair jig that he's got that i also like to throw this time of year but we'll get into that in just a minute hey guys as always there's a super thanks button down there if you guys want to be part of the channel you want to you know we give you a shout out you can send us a picture by the way if you guys are donating money to the channel man, make sure you email me a good picture. Otherwise I gotta use like whatever it is that YouTube's using. It may be a picture of you. It may just be a letter for that matter. So make sure you're emailing me a cool pic. And during the Bass Geek boxes every month, we put you at the end of the video to say thanks, man. So, but only donate if you get some value out of one of the videos, right? If I've helped you, and you feel like you, I've gave you some information you needed, shoot a dollar. We'll put you up for a month. Let's talk about the hair jigs for summer bass. All right, so let me show you. This is, I believe, the 5 8 ounce from Big Daddy Baits, which is one of my very favorites. Now, I'm about ready to give you a little bit of juice here. I don't know how many people do it, but I know in salt water, they do this a lot. And sometimes, man, it will be what puts you over the top of getting you the bite. This is a rage tail grub, okay? I don't cut anything down, but it just gets a little bit of action. This is a blue glimmer, matches up real good to this. And this is really one of my go-tos. It's the only kind of trailer I ever put on there. 99.9% .9 of the time, I don't even use a trailer, but this is sort of a little secret that I keep. But this is one of my favorite, good old white. Every once in a while, I'll put a little red or a little orange right here on the head. Big Daddy's is one of my favorites, and I like to put a grub on there. Now, I'm going to show you a couple of my other favorite ones. Now, these are actually from... Cumberland Pro Lures. These are huge. If you're around a bunch of gizzard shad, I'm telling you, these right here are straight up money, people. Let me tell you, you want to use these. This is another one. I don't even know if Cumberland makes this color anymore, but this is an underspin for it. And let me tell you, I really love to put the grub on the underspin. Uh, you just swim it through. You can do it, fish it the same exact way, which we'll talk about retrieves here in just a minute. But another great looking color from Cumberland. As far as sizes go, generally guys, I mean, I use a ton of different sizes. You know, anything from a three eighths, I mean, you can find them out there, you know, a half ounce all the way up to your five eighths, your three quarters and your one ounces depend depending on how much current and how deep you're fishing these bad boys. Now let's talk about these. These are your traditional marabou jigs, your little hair jigs. You see these used a lot in the winter time. But guys, I'm here to tell you right now, when they're up there suspended, these can be killer. Now I never put a trailer on these, I'll be the first to tell you, but these can be extremely good i think these are a quarter might even be a 16th i don't remember i'll have to look it up but links will be in the description for all this stuff but these are not your traditional summer hair jigs but when you're out there scoping and i know a lot of you hate it but it is what it is when you're out there scoping these bad boys right here are something that not a lot of people are showing them in the summertime. All right, all right, all right. Let's talk about the rod reel line setup for summer hair jigs or summer bucktail jigs, whatever you want to call them. Preacher jigs, prayer jigs, I don't know. Man, there's a hundred billion different names from. I love the eyes on these, by the way. I've been throwing these things for years. Like you go way back and look at my fishing videos. I've thrown these things 
forever and a day. It really just depends on how deep and, and how much current it is to, based on the size. But as far as rod, reel, and line goes on, now this is a Tactical Elite Bass. This is a 7.3 Heavy. Goes from a half to one and a half ounces, fast action. Now, this, the Taction has taken this place. So I'll put a link to the newest rod. They've discontinued these, but these were great rods. And the new ones have even better components on them from TFO. I throw these, of course, on a Super Duty from Lou's. And I believe, yeah, one of my favorite speeds, I think Lou's is one of the only ones that make it, and it is a six, eight to one. This gives me the best of both worlds when it comes to retrieves, and I'll explain that when we get there. I don't like a super fast reel, but I don't want a slow reel either. So that six, eight to one allows me to do everything I want to do when it comes to these baits. As always, this is going to be, because I've got a single hook in it, this is gonna be K9 Pro 100. Guys, make sure you check it out down below in the description, or actually pop it up right now. I got a 10% off discount. So guys, you talking about a line I would be willing to put against any Sunline, any uh, Seaguar, anything on the market, trust me, go buy you some, you will not be sorry. And guys, in the comment section below, you guys that have gone out and tried it, I've seen the testimonials, all right? So you guys let them know down in the comment section how good it is. And at a good price, man, you get 10% off if you order it from their website. Best braid in the market. I'm, I know I don't use braid, but I'm telling you, people, if you use braid, just go buy some and you can thank me later. Let me shut the heck up and let's talk about how we fish this daggum thing. So one of the things that I like to do, and and I'll be the first to tell you, my rod length because of you know my Garmin Live Scope is is a lot of times not anywhere near as important as it used to be. I know, you know, again, like I said, when it, it, it's just a game changer, it's just how it is. Uh, but I still do like a long rod, especially if I've got a big school. That's why I like a seven six on this and. Like I said, a lot of times I'm gonna fish up to an ounce, so it does need to be heavier. Now, if you don't have a live scope, something that you can do, and I'm gonna show you how I do it. So I know this is a seven foot six rod. I know that probably the last six inches are probably right around this butt right in this area. I know, I know guys, it's always bigger, right? Anyway, so one quick and easy way to figure out your drop rate is just throw it out there. We know we got about seven foot. So you don't want to just drop it. You want to kind of toss it. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, right there about four and a half. So you can calculate that at seven feet every four to five seconds. I would just go ahead and say seven feet every four seconds because you want to keep it above them anyway most of the time, right? If you go eight seconds, you know, more than likely, you're gonna be somewhere in the neighborhood of about 14 feet deep, maybe 15, right? So right in there, you know, it's not ex exact science, but that's a quick, easy way if you don't know the fall rate on a bait or a weight. And a lot of times it's gonna change with everything. Now, let's talk about the retrieve. If, if I'm fishing for suspended bass, right? That's when I really like the grub. So I'm gonna throw it out there. I'm gonna count it down with my Mississippis as soon as it hits the water. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two different things. One of my favorite is I'm just gonna reel it and I'm gonna stop. And I'm gonna let it fall. And I'm gonna reel it and I'm gonna stop. And I'm gonna let it fall. And I'm gonna give it about two seconds every time I reel it to three seconds. I'm gonna reel it and I'm gonna stop it. Three turns change that up sometimes the other way is just simply i'm going to throw it out there again suspended bass i'm on two mississippi three mississippi four mississippi five mississippi and i'm just going to hop it one mississippi two mississippi three mississippi hop it one mississippi two mississippi Hop it. And that's what I'm gonna do. 
and I'm going to basically keep it above them in that strike zone, and I want it just to react rise and fall. Now, when they're on the bottom, my two favorite retrieves are basically the same thing. I'm going to cast it out. I'm going to let it go to the bottom, and my very favorite retrieve, and by the way, we want to make sure that we're feeding it line. You'll watch, keep just enough bow, it'll start pulling your line up off the water. There, we're on the bottom. So what I wanna do is I wanna put my rod tip down and I just wanna give it two, three cranks as fast as I can crank it. Now I'm gonna feel it drop to the bottom. Now, again, if you've got live scope, you can see it and you can feed it a little bit of line. I don't want it to sit on the bottom long. As soon as I see it hit, there it is. I want to get it up off that bottom. I want to reel it because it's going to dart up and then it's going to flutter down and that's just really going to get their attention. A lot of times for me, what ends up happening is when that thing falls, sometimes they'll hit it on the fall, but a lot of times once it falls and it sits there, they'll nose down on it. And then when you give it that first crank, man, they just can't stand it. It darts up, they're looking at it and they go and they kill it. The second retrieve, I'm gonna let it fall to the bottom and I'm just gonna raise it up and set it down. And I'm gonna change how high I'm raising it. I'm also gonna change the speed, okay? So when I'm trying to get bit, I'm trying to figure it out. Sometimes I'm just gonna raise it up like that and let it fall. Once in a while that works. For me, it's more of a, like a spoon hop, right? Not really ripping or, you know, a jig up off the bottom. Not really stroking a jig like that, but more of a, you know, just a nice pop pop. And that's really the last and probably the second best retrieve. Listen, with everything guys, it's trial and error. Get out there, fish the bait and learn right but if you've got questions and you're having a hard time with it drop those questions comments in the comment section i hope you guys get out there and try to throw some hair jigs around i'm telling you it is a summer butt kicking bait all right questions comments in the comment section below you guys know i love to talk fishing with you like it if you like it don't forget to subscribe make sure you ring that bell 100 percent watch squad love you guys and as always you geeks rock